Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned. If you like all things Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree organizing, all that good stuff, please check out my channel and subscribe below. So before I get into this haul, I did want to let you know that I did film some footage in order to do a shop with me video. It is about a week after Mother's Day, but I decided to pick up Mother's Day cards for next year. I like having these ahead of time, especially for Mother's Day, because you don't want to forget your Mother's Day card if they are hoping for one. So I thought these were so pretty in this dark blue with gold accents. These were so cute in the seasonal section, you know, with the luau stuff, the tiki stuff. They had different kinds of configurations of colorful headwear. This is an elastic headband, and I suspect the elastic might wear down over time, but what's nice is that the elastic is thin enough that this could totally be bobby pinned into your hair. As you know, I love all things organizing, and this looked like a good item. This is a trifold pill and storage box. This was located, of course, in the medicine section. And here's what it looks like. There are three hinged layered compartments with a three section compartment to hold cough drops, earplugs, things like that. There's a four section compartment, and then there's a space that is undivided to fit larger items. How cool would this be in a car or going hiking, just as a to-go kit for first aid stuff. You could put jewelry in here, all sorts of things. We are not done with school yet, but I thought I would pick this up for the summer. This is a morning starters educational workbook. I really took a look through to see if this would fit Aria's level, and it does look like it's a pretty good book because it has things from all sorts of different areas of learning, from math, spelling, grammar, time, uh, weather, all sorts of good stuff. Speaking of my daughter, I found this hardcover junior novelization. It's Dora and the Lost City of Gold. This looks like a really nice quality book. There are pictures in the middle that are from the movie and originally it looked like it was $9.99 so that's a pretty good deal. I am always on the lookout for chapter books and novelization books at the Dollar Tree. That's such a good deal. They can get so expensive as you probably know. Another thing I was looking for, but not at the Dollar Tree, so I was glad to find it at the Dollar Tree, were socks like these. My daughter seems really into socks that have little ruffly things at the end. So this came in a three pack. I'm gonna open this up today, and if this works well, I'll probably pick up one or two more packages. I also like how they have lots of t-shirts that you could decorate, and they're only a dollar, so you can kind of have fun and let them go to town. There's the tie-dye paints that you can use in the craft section. There's other fabric kind of paints that they've had in the past. So this is like her favorite color, any kind of purple pretty much. So we will see if we can have some fun crafting with this. She wanted another um, bath mitt. And so she's been really into Princess and the Frog lately. If you've ever seen that movie, the Disney version at least, it's a pretty good movie. I think it's very underrated. She just wrote this report about how women can own businesses and have dreams and work hard for their dreams and not just wish in a star, all that good stuff. I, for the life of me, cannot seem to keep gardening gloves past maybe two or three seasons. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, um, but even if I buy the really expensive ones, they just get super grody and I have the hardest time cleaning them. So. I am buying another pair. This is the latex grip gloves. They have some that are of different materials. Some of them are like all cloth or all uh, waterproof. So if you just pick whatever works best for you. These are back at the tree. These are the letter board um, signs. I bought two specifically because I thought I might need extra letters. Uh, plus I can't decide which I like better, the black or the gray. I think both would work well in my kitchen, which is where I'm hoping to use it, but I don't know, which do you like better, black or gray? I mean, I could change them per season, you know, use the black maybe in the winter time, I don't know. We have not tried these. This is the Tag Fragrance Body Spray. I think these are a dupe for Axe. Um, 
I've smelled both of them and I like them. If there are any guys watching, I think these kinds of things really depend on how much of them you put on. Some women don't like these things at all. So zero would be better, of course, but um, yeah, don't bathe yourself in these. <laughs> I know a couple guys in my life that love to do that and it's just too, too much. Bought another rug underlay really like those things and I for some reason get really excited when they have waters like these they've had the smart waters there vitamin waters I really like specifically these kinds of water bottles that you can um, unscrew the top and it has a flip top which is so much easier to use while you're working out and I know you're not really supposed to but we'll reuse these a few times you know throughout the week and refill with water and then we'll recycle them uh, after a few uses so yeah I'm glad when they have stuff like this at the gym I belong to it used to be something like two something per bottle so a dollar definitely a good deal these Gatorade bottles I specifically like for the same kind of reason with their um, easy to use tops my husband loves the yellow I am not a fan of this flavor so but I got these for him thought I would give this a try it's their lime juice I don't know guys it's huge <laughs> it is so big so yeah I don't know it could be really gross I know it is a substitute but um, I don't know have you tried this thing before is it good I was hoping to splash this just a little bit on fish or guacamole or um, beef I don't know I hope it's good other food items I have tried the premier protein stuff I think the strawberry is way better but they have been out at my store for a while now the peach is pretty good too it is a bit on the sweet side but if you want to dilute it down with a little milk you can do that but it's such an easy thing to have um, especially if you want something fast for breakfast Okay, full confession, I was not going to show these Loma products because I tried it today and ugh, I'm kind of on the fence. So these are sustainable plant-based proteins and I have had um, plant-based protein substitutes that I've liked before. Um, so I'm not uh, adverse to them and I'm there is sometimes a taste to them from the whey protein or whatever protein they use. This though, ooh, I'm just not sure. And it's more about the texture than anything. So I had the sesame ginger one today with rice and some leftover roasted asparagus from last night. And it was okay. It was okay. But if I were to have that bowl again, I probably would just leave this out of it and just have the rice and asparagus and I would be more than satisfied. So I don't know. I bought this. I'll, I'll give it another shot. Um, they have this on crackers and in salads and stuff, but yeah, I'm not so sure. So if you've tried this, if you hated it, if you loved it, if you thought meh, let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think. And uh, I, I love hearing your feedback, whether you like something or not. It just really is very helpful. Okay, something that is a bit more reliable, I think, sesame chips. <laughs> Hopefully these will be good. And... I bought a little Star Crunch thing, yum, 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 some natural coconut chips and the Campbell's bean and ham soup. My husband wanted some Pop-Tarts, so I told him I would get him the Toast and Pop-Ups bonus pack. Yay, bonus packs. This is in the strawberry version. I'm, I'm kind of hoping they'll have different flavors and bonus packs. That would be really, really nice. And for my daughter and husband, a couple of cereals. She wanted something like this, the Honey Nut Cheerios in the shape of hearts. Isn't that so cute? And for my hubby, the Honey Nut Toasted Oats. And a couple more things, a thing of Pine Sol and a ginger ale all right guys that is it for this video let me know what should i be looking out for what items have you hated what items have you loved if you like all things dollar tree dollar tree hauls dollar tree organizing please check out my channel and subscribe below thank you so much for watching guys take care